Hey, hey, this is Scott. So welcome back to the series. Um, I'm sorry, battling a cold, but uh, I wanted to make another video. This is Bay 06. I hope you join me with Bay 00, where I um, went through the outline or the the um, my my plan for the series. So essentially, now we're we're looking at um, we've gone through uh, five. We're going to now go through a simple explanation of, of Bayes theorem. And so I try to keep an agenda. This is going to be really simple. I'm going to show you base theorem, and I'm going to show you how what we've done so far actually translates into base theorem. So um, this is base theorem right here. So the probability of A given B, let me get a tool. OK, so hopefully. The probability of A, given the probability of B, is the intersection, the probability of both events happening, divided by the probability of B. So Bayes' theorem extends this thing that we've already covered, right, right here. And then what we do is we break that out. So it's a reverse conditional probability, right? So we can actually go through, and you can calculate the probability of A given B as the probability of B given A, the reverse, times the probability of A, divided by basically the event space, the probability of B given A times the probability of A plus the probability of B and not A, or the complement of A. That's two ways to say that. That's A complement, or that's not A, times the probability of A. All right. So, uh, Let's do this. Uh, let's break down the denominator, the, the top, um, um, I'm sorry, the numerator, uh, the top here, the probability of B given A times the probability of A. <clears throat> we did that before, right? So the, the intersection, the probability of both these events simultaneously occurring is this conditional probability times the probability of A. We did that. And we also, and it's right here, so that was in the last video, base 05. And we also noted that if the events are independent, it's just the probability of B times the probability of A. Bayes doesn't imply that, all right? And that's one of the reasons that Bayes is so useful, is the fact that you can test those, those probabilities there. Okay, so now, what we next want to do is we want to do uh, the denominator. Right, so we've already satisfied the numerator. Now let's look at the denominator. And so the, what we're going to get to is probability of B is equal to this thing over here. So let's get to that. And so that's just a snapshot of what we just looked at. And so um, if I look at the uh, probability of a and B, right? That's this middle section right here. And then the probability of not A, the complement of A and B, right? So that's not A and B. That's everything in here. And so when you look at those together, that's essentially just B. So that's what we've got. The probability of B is equal to um, the probability of of A and B plus the probability of A complement or not A and B, right? So that's what that, that is in a nutshell. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to take that. We're going to make this go into this, but that should look very familiar because we just talked about it. We just, we just essentially did it right here. But let me go down. All right. So we said this just a second ago, the probability of A and B. So we've got, we've now got this thing right here, right? Um, this, this thing right here is the same thing um, as this. And then now this thing, all we have to do is specify not A and not uh there so I um, 
I'm not using the bars. Another way to notate this is with the little c. So the probability of not a and b is the probability of b given not a times the probability of not a. So that's pretty much it. That That's it in a nutshell for a very simple base formula, right? Two events. And then the extensions, the natural extensions of this, if we have, you know, um, three events, four events, a hundred events, then essentially what we do in, in, in the numerator, I'm, I'm sorry, the denominator is this becomes a summation, right? So it's a summation here of, of two. Um, and then you can just use the, the summation sign against all those different probabilities. And then the continuous probabilities essentially is just integrals. Um, you, 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 inter you integrate over the space. And so that's it in a nutshell. And so hopefully you're following what I'm trying to do in YouTube. Um, just type in my name, Scott Burke. You'll see all on my playlist and channels. Um, but, but right now we're talking about this particular um, playlist on Bayesian statistics, causation, and prediction. And I cover not only kind of more this type of lecture, but I also have some, some code examples and some other uh, practical examples there. So thanks.